Hello there. We have now learned how to do how to find slope from a graph, how to slime, find slope from a table, and now today let's learn how to find slope from ordered pairs. So slope is the change in y over the change in x. And I'm going to use some colored pencils and highlighters to help me distinguish between um, the coordinates that I'm using. So I'm going to color this first one with colored pencils. And this one right here, that 2, is actually an X. And this negative 3 is a Y. So this is X1. We can call it X1. And this is Y1. Okay, the one here is indicating that it's from the first ordered pair. It's the X coordinate or the Y coordinate from the first ordered pair. Now, in the second ordered pair, we still have an X coordinate and a Y coordinate, but because it's a different ordered pair, we're going to say it's from the second ordered pair, so X sub 2 and Y sub 2. And the second one, I'm going to use the same colors, but I'm going to use a highlighter instead. Now our formula for all of this mess is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2. Notice that it's from the same ordered pair there. And x minus x sub 1. And these are from the same ordered pair. Okay, so let's fill in the blanks here. y sub 2, that would be this negative 6. And we're going to subtract y sub 1, that's negative 3 put a parenthesis there so we don't lose that negative, over x sub 2, so here's 5. Notice that the 6 and the 5, the negative 6 and 5, were in the same ordered pair, the second one. We're still subtracting because we're finding the difference, the change, minus x sub 1, which was 2. So negative 6 minus negative 3, if you kiss your frog and make him into a prince, negative 6 plus positive 3, is actually a negative 3. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. And if we simplify this to lowest terms, we get negative 1. So our slope for this particular one, or this set of ordered pairs, is negative 1. Now, I would like to point out to you at this moment that if you have your ordered pairs stacked on top of each other like this, you could also do, I wanted to prove to you that you'll still get the same answer if you do it in the other order. What if I said negative 3 minus negative 6? And then I would have to do 2 minus 5. So negative 3 minus negative 6, kiss your frog, it'll be negative 3 plus positive 6. That'll be positive 3. And then 2 minus 5, that's negative 3. 3 divided by negative 3 is still negative 1. So a trick that has worked for some students in the past is to pretend like these ordered pairs are in a car. And if this guy is the driver, and we stop at a red light, and we have a fire drill, these two guys are going to switch places. So look, here's negative 6. See, it ends up in that driver's seat right here. We put a subtract sign. They're busted out of their ordered pairs. So it's y minus y. 2 came back here to the right rear passenger, 
So here's the 2 in the right rear passenger. So 5 and negative 3 stayed in the same place. If the fire drill method works for you, go for it. If it doesn't make sense to you and the formula does, then use that. So some notes in here. Let's lift our flap. Slope. The difference of sorry about that the y and the difference of the x also known as rise over run divide the two and then reduce You got slope. Okay, and this came from a blog that I found, and I believe it was called Sweeney Math or Mr. Sweeney or something like that. So I want to give a shout out to him. Thank you for sharing your idea. And that's all we have for that. Let's make sure you get the formula. Y2, Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Here's the difference of your Y's and the difference of your X. Here's your rise of your run, also known as rise over run. Divide the two, there's your divide line, and then reduce, then you have slope. This is slope. All right, that is all we have for finding slope from two ordered pairs. Thanks for listening.